Hello, this time we will visually explore various waveforms using the sine node. To better visualize the results of the sine node, we will create a plane with a high number of meshes. Click the selection mode drop down at the top and select modeling. If modeling mode is not visible, enter the plugin menu and turn on modeling tools editor mode. On the left, click rect under shapes, set width and depth subdivisions to 100, place it in the level and click accept. Return to selection mode and adjust the plane's position to make it visible. Create a material and rename it to M-Wave. Then, create a material instance and rename it to MI-Wave. Apply MI-Wave to the plane you created. Then, open M-Wave. Let's implement the basic movement of a sine wave using the basic trigonometric function sine of 2 pi over t. Create a pi node. Connect a value of 2 to the multiplier of the pi node. This node represents the 2 pi part. Divide the pi node with a parameter named wavelength, representing 2 pi over t. Set the default value of wavelength to 256. Connect the sine node, then multiply it by the amplitude to adjust the wave's amplitude. Set the amplitude value to 30. You could stop here, but this would just be a basic mathematical function. To affect the mesh's color and world position offset, create a makefloat3 node and connect the value multiplied by amplitude to the Z input. Connect 0 to both X and Y. Returning to the level, you will see the sine wave in action. Open MI Wave and adjust the parameters to see the changes in the sine wave's amplitude and period. Add a comment to the sine node and save it as sine. To create a square wave, use the formula sine of sine x. The sine node is a function that returns the sine of its input value. In Unreal Engine's material editor, the sine function returns 1 if the input is positive, 1 if negative, and 0 if the input is 0. Connect the sine node to the sine node and multiply it by the amplitude. After saving, you can see the square wave displayed in the level. Group the sine and sine nodes and save the comment as square. Next, let's create a triangle wave. Here is the formula to create a triangle wave from sine. Absolute value of arc sine of sine x times 2 over pi minus 1.0. The formula may look complex, but it can be implemented easily. Create a sin node and connect it to an arc sine node. When you check it in the level, you'll see that a triangle wave has been generated. Group the sine and arc sine nodes and save the comment as try. The triangle wave is created using the mod function. Here, the mod function is a node that returns the remainder of the division of two numbers. It can achieve something similar to the frac node. The frac node retains only the fractional part of a given value, discarding the integer part, leaving a value between 0 and 1. Connect the frac node and then connect it to the multiply node. Check the result in the level to see the triangle wave formed in one direction. Finally, let's add time to animate the waveform. Create a time node. To control the speed, create a parameter named speed and multiply it by time. Then, add this value to the existing one. By experimenting with sine, you can create various waveforms.